Dolores Hayes lived and died in a world of her own. She was 17, a straight-A student at Lincoln High who spent most of her time with books, not boys. She just wasn't the kind of girl you noticed, one of her teachers said. Her world was one of solitude, of thoughts and feelings she shared with no one else. Last night, her private world was brutally invaded. Last night, Dolores Hayes was murdered in this quiet place of beauty. Her killer is at large, and this community is stunned. She just wasn't the kind of girl you noticed. Last night, somebody did Sam, ready? Let's go if you're going. From Briarwood. Honey, her set's on. Action 10 Morning News. Come on, Sam, shake it. Did you unpack my tux yet? I work too, dear. Oh, look, the party is Friday night. Yes, I know. I had to cancel my parents, remember? You're going to start that again? Come on, this is important. Everyone from the home office is going to be there. Come on, Sam, let's go! Samantha, honey, didn't we talk about these outfits of yours? Did we? Yes, we did. I mean, don't you care about the impression you make? I mean, people are gonna... I don't know. I mean, you look like I don't know what. I got a meeting in 20 minutes. You coming or not? I'll walk. Have a good day, Sam. Like every other day. Debbie, and you can't borrow it. <laughs> no, Peter, did you hear me ask her? You will. Uh, and what was her name? The girl. I don't know. Dolores something. Hayes. She speaks. What was her name? Dolores Hayes. Did you know her? But everybody knows her now. Is she weird? No, you. You are weird. 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 After all those years of the Depression, and I'm talking Depression, where many of your grandparents were out of work and standing in bread lines, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's policies finally began to turn things around. More legislation was passed during the first 100 days of his administration than any other before or since. This all came out of this frenzy period in Congress. We saw the beginnings of this movie.
Samantha, baby, are you all right? I'm Mr. and Mrs. Loomis? What happened? What happened? What Real happened? Uh, lucky girl. Could you please tell us what happened? Samantha? Honey. And we think the man that killed Dolores Hayes went after your daughter. Oh, my God. And we figure he's six foot, maybe taller, probably goes 200. Somehow your little girl here fought him off. You know self-defense? Have a uh, weapon on you, any kind of knife Sir, or anything? please. My daughter doesn't carry weapons. Mr. Loomis, I'm just trying to find Why don't out. you just go out and find him so this won't happen again? Well, we were hoping your daughter could give us a description. All right, Sam. Can you tell us what the man looked like? He grabbed me from the back. I was running. He grabbed me again. We were on the ground, and then he was gone. Can we please take her home now? Yeah. Come on, honey. I brought you some clothes. Um, Mr. Williams, just a couple more questions. Yes. Um, Darling, it's ridiculous to talk about going back to school tomorrow. Really? I will get behind in everything. No, you won't. Samantha? Samantha, I'm Carl Consino. Uh, Excuse us, please. I know. Uh, could we talk for a minute? Sure. Not a minute. She's not talking to anyone. Okay, guys, would you please back off? Oh, sure, she will. So she'll talk sooner or later. And I was hoping that it would be sooner, and with me. I said she's not talking, right? You're the one that did the story on the girl in the park. Hers was not a happy ending. We're taking our daughter home now. And why don't we ask Samantha what she'd like to do? Thanks for keeping them outside. I got the feeling you didn't want to talk around them. I've been talking around them for years. I know what it's like not to be able to open up. You're on TV. Not always. You should have seen me when I was in high school. Disaster with a capital D. Talk to no one. My parents didn't have a clue. I had one friend. And he moved. Didn't you feel like some days you were just going to explode? Mm hmm What'd you do? I drew pictures. What do you do? I write a little. I'd like to read what you write. Really? There's a lot going on up there. How do you know? I know. Will you let me read it? The way you talked about that girl in the park, that she was in her own little world, I'm like that. And I never thought I'd want anyone to know what my world was like. But I guess I do. You see how easy it is? You let me into your world. I have, haven't I? How's it feel? I like it. Let's do it for camera. We don't have to be helpless victims of violence. And we don't have to live under a cloud of fear. Samantha Loomis has shown us that we can fight back. That we don't have to yield our peace of mind to those who would steal it from us. We've needed to hear her story for a long time. Unlike so many others, hers is a story with a happy ending. This is Carl Cancino. Someone turned on the TV and there you were. Hey, I can imagine what it's like to be chased. 
Well, no, not really. I mean, when I'm chased, it's by loving guys with helmets. But if it was for real, I don't, I don't think I could have handled it. Listen, I know we don't hang out together or anything, but uh, if you need a ride home or something. I'm meeting someone. Okay. Take it easy. Thank you. Samantha, this is really nice. I like this. This is really good. Thank you. You know, when school's over, I'm going to Europe. My parents don't want me to, but I'm going to do it. I want to look at churches. The older, the better. Why churches? I love them, the architecture. I'm not crazy about what goes on inside them, but the architecture really turns me on. You know, if you like churches, you're going to love Spain. I must have taken a thousand pictures of Spanish churches. Really? Can I see them? Sure. Anytime. Sorry. Action 10 News Team never rests. I'll be right back. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to go. Another girl was attacked. What? She goes to your school. Uh, Debbie Sooner. <sighs> Spooner! Listen, I've gotta get out there. But what about the pictures? I'll call you. Uh, later, I promise. When? After the show. Around seven. Deborah, did you see the man's face? No, he was wearing an old ski mask or something. How did you manage to get away? Lion. Um, I don't remember. I, I was wearing a, a barrette in my hair. It has a pretty sharp point. You actually stabbed him with it? Right there. This is Carl Cantino. Such a liar. Who's a liar? No one. <sighs> Darling, I wish you weren't going to be here alone. I'm fine. Well, but if we could call Grandma. Fine, she's fine, she's fine. You are, aren't you, honey? Mm-hmm. We won't be too late, Sam. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Samantha. <sighs> no. I love you. Cancino, please. He was just on TV. He was supposed to call it. This is Samantha Loomis. Do you know where he... He knows the number. It's very important that I talk to him. Yes. Okay. about oh so i stabbed him with my barrette and that's how he got away couldn't you think of a better story than that better story i i just you just couldn't stand it that i was the one that carl put on tv well people know who i am now so you just had to go up and make a story why would anybody want to make up something like that they'd only make it up if... god you really
I'll get him, Sam. You just need to hurt him. an earlier attack by the murderer in our midst did not survive this one. The man who had already tried one aborted attempt to end their short life succeeded last night just after Samantha telephoned me to say she was ready to make an identification. But someone else reached her before I could and for right or wrong reasons I hold myself responsible. These two girls, who were poised at the threshold of life, will never live. This is Carl Cancino, speaking to you from Fox Hill. 